Hey there! I have an idea for replacing those standard paper gift card holders, the plain ones, you know, that are just kind of boring, with something a lot more exciting. I'm Robin Marie Smith, and I'm a mixed media artist and instructor, and I want to share with you an idea I have for creating your own gift card holders. I like to create mine out of my own artwork. So I scan my work, I print it onto cardstock, and then I use it to create the gift card holders. I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial and that you'll be inspired to create your own. Thanks a lot and enjoy. The first thing that I like to do is scan in my artwork and then print it onto cardstock. And then that way I can cut it down into whatever size that I need. So this is just an example of one of my collages that's been um, scanned and printed. And then I decide on the size that I want and create a template. So this is just a template that I created. And the size of this is four inches by 10. And then that way I can create uh, basically what I need for a template and then this is makes it super easy to work with so then I just keep reusing this one over and over so I've already pre-cut some of the uh, collage sheets that I scanned and printed onto cardstock so I already have those done and then basically what I do is I take the template and and you can measure this out and do it freehand but I think it's a little easier to have a template that you can just reuse and reuse. This is certainly not the only way to do it, but so I lay the template onto my uh, my piece of cardstock, but decide which is your top and which is your bottom before you fold it. So I'm gonna use this as gonna be the flap or the top of it. And so I just place the template on here. And the template folds in at three inches. So I just gently doesn't even have to be super perfect. I'm just giving a little bit of a fold. And then on this end, it folds in at six and a half. Remember this is 10 inches in length, so it's gonna come in at three inches and then six and a half. So I just gently do that, and then I can create the final fold. Now the top part is a little long, but that's because we're gonna create a flap. And so you'll see here, I have this part here where it folds in, and I actually will use this as a, as a guide as well. You can do this freehand, but it's a little harder to do. And I don't even think this is quite equal. So let's do, I'm just gonna gently do one side. And then I'll do the other side to match it, just to make sure it's equal. There, that worked out good. And so now when it's closed, I have the flap here. Now I'm gonna show you a few different ways that you can create this. Um, this one here, I'm gonna go ahead and glue the flap down on the inside. And I'm just gonna use a glue stick to do that. like this. Okay, now don't glue this one down because this is going to be where once it's finished, the card will slide into the slot. And you can see that I made it a little bit wider than the card so that we would have plenty of room to put it in there. So you want to make sure that you do make sure it's wide enough. You could even go four and a half inches wide if you wanted to do that as well. So now we have the beginning of, of our card um, holder. All right, now before I take this to the sewing machine, because I'm going to sew one and then I'm going to show you another option, I want to um, go ahead and create the other one and then we'll do them together. So this one kind of has some holiday colors in red, but I want to do another one in a different pattern. And let's go with, let's go with this one. I like this one.
Okay, so for this one, I want to show you something a little different. Let's go in here. And I just uh, cut a, a, ma a piece of uh, a, a page out of a magazine. And it doesn't matter. You can use old book paper, whatever you have. And I'm just going to... We don't even need all of this. And rather than leaving the inside of this white, let's go ahead and add some paper so that it will be, it'll look a little nicer. And you don't need to go all the way down because this is gonna be your pocket, but I would say probably right about there. So let's just add some paper. And again, you can use book paper, you can use anything. Um, it's a little larger than I need because I'm just going to trim it off. And so once it's, once it's glued down, just take your scissors and trim it off. Trim off that extra. Okay, and then you'll want to go back to that fold again. And you can actually trim a little bit more of that off. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down like we did on the other one, only this one has the paper. It just makes it look a little more finished. And so now when it's closed and it opens up, it has this nice paper in it and it just needs to dry. Okay, so now we have two that we've started. I'm gonna leave this one without the paper inside and then we'll leave, this one will have the paper. So what I wanna do is give you two options in case you don't have a sewing machine. So I'm gonna set this one aside for now because this one we're gonna actually stitch and let that dry. And then this one we will not be stitching. And I'll show you how you can jazz this one up a little bit too. So some other items that you're going to need, you're gonna need some ribbon. I'm gonna use some sorry ribbon, but you can use any kind of you know ribbon. You can also use, here is a, another option, this is just some torn um, muslin that you can just tear and it works great too. So if you don't even have ribbon, you can just use fabric. You can tear some fabric too. All right, and then you're gonna need a hole punch. I'm gonna use an eighth of an inch punch. And then if you have a, um, an eyelet setter, we're gonna use some eyelets. Um, I'm gonna be using this one here is from We Are Memory Keepers and it has an adjustment on it so that I can change the size so I'm going to go with the eighth of an inch and you can also use, there's some others on the market that you can use where you actually use the, the punch setter. So you'll want that if you have one, some scissors, of course, and your eyelets, and then we'll, we'll get to it, but we're going to use some, a little charm as well, but I'll show you that when we get to that step. So those are some things you're going to need for um, this step. And then also uh, tap into your washi tape stash. Um, you can use masking tape as well, so any of those will work fine. And then um, I'll show you how we're going to put this together, and I'll give you some other options too. So, all right, so let's get started on this one. Okay, the first thing we're going to do with this one is add some tape. You can also use stapler, uh, um, a stapler and add some colored staples if you want to go that route. But if you don't have a sewing machine or you want to do it quickly, this is an option for you. All right, so I'm going to take a roll of masking tape first. I just want to make sure that it's secure. I mean, this isn't really going to be something that people are going to use um, over and over like a journal or something. So I think we're fine if we just use some tape. And I'm going to do half. Half of the masking tape is on the front and then the other half will be folded over to the back. And then do that on both sides. This is relatively easy. Just 
just like this and then fold that over. All right. Now let's pick, I'm going to go with contrast. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to go with this one. I like this washi tape. It's black and it has like a script on it. So let's use this one. And we're going to do the same thing. I want to try this time though to make sure I get exactly the length I need. So I'm going to go a little bit larger or a little bit longer rather than I need. Making sure I'm right up here at the top. You could even just go slightly above the fold, but I don't really need to go too much. And then just make sure that you've you cover the masking tape and it's going to be a little longer, but that's okay. We're going to trim it off and then squeeze and fold it over. And then you can trim off the extra. And we'll do the same thing on this other side as well. So just make sure it's a little longer than you need. And do the same thing here. Oops, I think I put that a little too close. I think that masking tape's a little too much on one side, but that's okay. All right, so once again, fold it. And then trim off the excess. Okay, now on the back, my masking tape was a little bit um, wider than my washi tape, and that's no problem because now I can take another one. I'm going to take another one here that I really like that kind of complements it. And I'm going to put that right up to the edge. There we go. Yep. And then that will just enhance it. And let me make sure I do the same here. Make sure the length is the same. All right. And then I'll finish this one off exactly the same. There. Perfect. And then now your card will slide right into that pocket. Okay, so let's finish this one off. Now what we're gonna do is we want to create, um, we're gonna hole punch on either side of our flap. I'm gonna use that eighth of an inch punch and just kind of eyeball where you want it. I'm gonna kind of come right inside where the, Mm, I think I need to be a little bit further out. Let's see here. We don't want to go any, we want to make sure that card fits in there. So let's do it this way where we can see where we're going. So let's do it right here on the end. We want to make sure we give enough space. So let's go right about there. That works. And then we'll do the same on the other side. And you just want to try to line it up as close as you can. There. So now you have two holes in there. And they're not very big. Um, you can use the quarter inch punch as well if you would rather. Um, but I'm going to use the eighth of an inch punch. Uh, my eyelets here fit that. So, all right. I'm going to take my setter. So now we have our eyelets 
And I think I have one gold and one bronze. I didn't look at the colors. That's all right. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is you want to choose some sari ribbon. And then the sari ribbon will be used to as our closure for our, our little pouch. So go ahead and grab some ribbons and decide which one you think will look the best. That red looks really good, kind of vibrant against that, huh? Yeah, I like that one. I think we'll use that color. <clears throat> and I, I can't really give you an exact length, but I would make sure that you have enough. You could even use a really long piece and then just cut it down if you need to do that as well. So go ahead and choose your, your sari ribbon and we'll move on to the next step. All right, I decided I'm gonna use the red and I'm gonna attempt this first. Since this hole is really small, I'm gonna see if I can actually put it through. And if I can't, we'll figure out something else. And you do want to you want to come from the back. So where you have equal um, equal ribbon on both sides. That looks pretty close. Okay. And so the idea here is that this will tie right here in the front. And that will keep the flap closed once you put your gift card in there. And let's just tie this. It's a very, very frayed ribbon, but it's pretty. And then of course, I'll trim those tails because those tails are a little, I don't know, I kind of like those. Okay, that looks good. I like it. Okay, so let's do one more thing to jazz this up. We're gonna do the same thing on the other one, but. Um, let's go ahead and put um, a hole right here at the tip of the flap, right up here in the tip. We could have done this before, but uh, go ahead and put a hole right in there. And I also want to mention that you don't have to use eyelets. Um, you can use um, just the hole. You don't even have to use an eyelet in there. It kind of finishes it off, but you don't have to use one. So if you don't have access to, don't worry about it. You don't have to. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I untied it. Just make it easier for me to do this. All right, let's go ahead and finish off this one. If anything, I think the eyelet looks really good on this part of it. And then we're gonna put a little charm in here. So let me show you. Um, I love these fancy safety pins um, and you can get these, I get these on Etsy and they open up. You can also find these on clothing tags, which are awesome. And then I have this charm. Any kind of hanging charm will work great. You can use buttons and then we're gonna slip this through the slot here, the little hole in our where our eyelid is. Close the safety pin. And then I'm going to flip this to where the closure of the pin is at the, the top there. And so now you have your charm just hanging, dangling down. And then we can tie this back up again. Yes, so do that before you, before you tie the ribbon. It's a little easier to do it that way. I mean, I haven't even put the card in there, but you get the idea. And you, again, you could do this without the eyelets. I'll do it without the eyelets on the next one that we sew. And so that's it, super easy. Okay, so what about sewing? All right, so let's do one that we're gonna sew and I'll show you how easy that one is. If you have a sewing machine, I'm gonna use um, this one here that we did earlier with the text. I think this will be a good one to do with that. So, all right, so let me get my sewing machine and I'll show you how to do that one. For this one, we're going to stitch the sides on both sides, and then we're gonna stitch just this, 
um, side of the flap here and here. And I'm just going to use a straight stitch with my sewing machine. I'm going to use black thread. And since I want to have a lot of the threads kind of hanging off, I'm going to stitch and then stop, cut, stitch again. And that way I have extra um, of the threads, which I think makes it look really good. Now, you can use a fancy stitch if you want to, or you can just use the straight stitch. I'm not using a, fa um, a fancy needle, just a regular all-purpose needle. And then I'm just going to do, again, a straight stitch as I work it through. And I'm going to kind of go back and forth, um, but again, I'm going to stop, and I'll show you as I get there. And the reason I do it this way is this way I have these threads, and then I'll do it again. So twice should be plenty. But it's great because it gives you those threads there that can hang off of it. Okay. And so I trim and I'm leaving those threads on there. Let me lay it down here, you can see the threads. And then I'm gonna do the other side and then we'll do the flap. Okay, again, we got our threads. Okay, and so this is what it looks like here. You've got these nice threads on both sides, and then I'm gonna do the flap, but I'm gonna do it this direction. I'm gonna start here, and I'm gonna stitch down, and do the exact same thing where I leave um, the threads so that we have those. Okay, let me show you here. So once again, we've just stitched once, and we have the threads, and I'm gonna do it again. and it's just starting to look really messy. I love it. All right, so let's do this. I'm gonna turn it to the other side now where we're gonna do the other side of the flap. And it's really easy because you're just stitching along that edge. I don't, I'm not coming down the side. I'm just doing that edge. Okay, so now the flap is gonna be closed like this. And so you got all these extra threads and you can trim them if you wanna trim them a little bit. I kinda of like just having them kinda of messy. Now for this one, I won't do the eyelets. That way you can see how it works without the eyelets. That's kind of pretty. I like that. It's different. And it sparkles. Okay, so let's close it up just so you can see it finished. And that sorry ribbon wasn't quite as frayed. It definitely went through easier than the other one. And I like the cream. It, it actually complements the black that's in this one. Okay, and so there's a way you can do it with stitching and no eyelets at all. And it really looks good without the eyelets too because you can't really tell that there's a, uh, you almost can't even see it.
Now here's an example of a couple more that I made. Um, this, this is another one that I did with no charm and I did the larger hole. Now with the larger hole, you can see it a little more. And then we already did this one. And then here's another one I did. And with this one, I did the larger hole with the bigger eyelets. And it's not my favorite. I think the eyelets are a little too big. But what if you did a pouch or a, a holder that was bigger? Um, maybe those larger eyelets would look a little bit better with it. But either way, I wanted to give you some options so that you could see some other ways that you could do it. But I think my favorite is the smaller hole without the eyelet. I think that looks good. All right, so there is a, um, an idea for creating your own gift card holders with your own artwork. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing the ones that you create. Thanks a lot.